Hello and welcome back to another speed build in Valheim. Today we are going to build a wonderful little harbor area which um, does actually uh, have a little uh, cozy restaurant in it. We do have a little um, storage room, well it's not that little, it's actually quite a big storage room and it's also going to feature um, a shipyard basically um, and the build is actually done on our multiplayer server and so um, sorry for a little bit of a wonky um, speed build here so you can see this is now the assembly um, film from over here. Um, unfortunately, as it is, appears at the moment in Valheim, there is only the option to have the camera views and stuff in the single player. So as soon as you play multiplayer, you basically cannot utilize them. So what I did, I purchased the game just one more time and I put a third player on the server and this third player is just standing over here on a little tower filming our area. And um, this is also unfortunate because, well, you cannot go to bed which is a bit of a pity um, so we have to build through the night but I'm working on a remote control so that next time around I'll have the chance to uh, you know put this person somewhere where a bed is and you can put down the bed and stuff like that so this should actually be better um, but I think for today that's just what we have and uh, you can definitely see uh, the, the development uh, quite nicely. We do have a little bit of an um, ego view later on um, from, from the personal perspective of building the shipyard because unfortunately the uh, angle of the camera was not good enough to spot that and also the computer downstairs shut down. Um, but yeah, so it's actually pretty cool to, to look at how things uh, develop this way. So you can see um, this storage building over here um, in the next cut is already done. My brother also started to put down some uh, trees. So you might see some trees growing while we keep on building. Um, after we've built this little storage building over here, which is in the later stages, we'll see I put another layer on it. It was a little bit too steep, so um, I started building something bigger in the end. Um, and yeah, we also have kind of a little bit of a struggle with the water levels when there is a storm going on. Um, this is something I do tackle as well in the later stage of today's uh, speed build. Um, but it's kind of fun to see um, how these things all come together. We recently just upgraded to stone, so I can and finally also do like a little bit of a stone uh, ground and a stone foundation here which I think looks pretty good uh, to be honest it looks uh, very nice in the end um, with the restaurant on it and all these kind of things uh, that we uh, really badly needed because um, we just only had a blacksmith building um, that was a little bit of a uh, building for everything and we need to branch out a little here with the harbor from where we can actually go and uh, do some some more building and, um, and and discovering of the whole world so yeah I think this build over here in particular is pretty interesting um, simply because uh, this is the first more elaborate building the, you know the last church which you can still see somewhat to the left top which is now hidden away by some trees um, was kind of difficult but I think I made a, a huge mistake in terms of the overall structure of this building um, and I learned a lot uh, about Valheim and building. This is also why there will be a building tutorial on the channel um, this weekend. Uh, so actually I'm planning a lot more Valheim content uh, because I really feel this game deserves the content and it really is just I have over 35 hours in the game now. It's just crazy and um, I, I want to keep on building because it's just so fun and uh, there's so much in the game, so much potential, uh, so much cool stuff that I really want to make sure uh, that this is going, going places and we can get more creative. I will also, speaking of creative, this is all done in survival mode, okay? So all the resources you can see uh, being used here are resources that I have gathered myself or with my brother together. Um, it's all been built in here by hand. There is no mod involved. There's nothing involved. This is just pure survival building. Um, but I will also do some creative mode building with the god mode in single player. Um, simply because, you know, always getting the resources and stuff. That's just like a huge time issue when you're just gonna get and, and build crazy. Uh, creative so um, this is what we do and in order to do so um, the daily question is what shall I build in Valheim please comment down below what you would love me to build in this game um, it doesn't matter it can be anything you know there's no limit in this game I think creativity can basically realize everything in the game um, so please let me know in the comments down below what you would love to see I would tackle it can be Star Wars related it can be movie related it can be Viking related it can be medieval it can be modern it can be whatever um, give me a challenge and I will try to you know uh, succeed on uh, taking that challenge I really would love to do it uh, simply because I feel this game uh, really really holds all the tools that uh, we need in order to make something like this and you can see with the building here um, we are approaching now again another nighttime and then 
cycling back to another daytime. You can also see the gray dwarfs um, <laughs> just running through the image all of the time. Uh, I hope it's not too dark all the time, but I think you can still see the progress rather nicely. Uh, I really do hope that this is, um, yeah, very interesting for you to watch. And um, we, we will shortly go over into the point of view um, of my wonderful builder mode and then uh, we, we see how the actual shipyard has been built. Um, so yeah, let's see how that goes. All right, and you can see also the trees grew um, to be in the way, so you can't really tell too much. And now here we are now in the other mode, uh, which unfortunately I needed to record then because my uh, computer downstairs didn't really do it. And uh, this is now making space for, uh, yeah, basically for the a very necessary um, little shipyard area over here. But I will now shut up and we'll leave you alone with the speed build so you can actually see how that turns out and we will see each other for a little real-time section at the end. It's not going to be very long um, but I will show you the end result. So uh, stay tight and we see each other in the real-time part.
All right, and here we are now with the final result. You can see this is the harbor we are looking at right now. Um, I did a little bit of a tweak here and there, um, and there's also a little bit of a foreshadowing for the next episode. I basically found a way to make a fish farm without having a fishing rod. This is pretty interesting. Um, I will try to get this to work properly and then I will have this in the next episode um, because that's rather interesting to do um, and I spend a lot of time dealing with this little issue. Uh, but yeah, so what we have over here, this is just like a little viewing platform. This is the one I used to make the filming uh, later on, which unfortunately broke. Um, that's a bit of a pity. Um, but then uh, we also do have something very neat and this is, whoops, if you, if you see this uh, harbor so this is um, on the left hand side our storage building which is gonna go quickly in there to show you it's a bit wonky if you're in but um, this is pr actually pretty nice because then you are very close to the chests and don't really have a problem um, you know accessing them and then uh, if we go higher up you will see that there is uh, a big of a bit of a bigger room up here so we have plenty of space for our goods and stuff um, this is very nice um, we also keep it quite okay so normally you know I'm a, I'm a disaster when it comes to sorting in these things but uh, in here both me and my brother we kind of uh, you know arranged that pretty neatly so that's pretty nice and um, then we also have this building as you can see and this is the restaurant building because we wanted to have some food let's go in um so down here there will be the potion making will be uh, will be put here and um, i still don't have the cauldrons here but this is uh, in the background and we will have uh, the ingredients for the potions and then we can make them here but if we go upstairs there should be still my bed in the way yeah just forget about the bed i just put that here to um have uh, a, a sleeping spot while building and uh, this is also the crafting table i'm gonna uh, put away but there you go we have like a little area to stand you can grab a beer grab some food and if we go into the kitchen in the background you can see there's actually a chest which uh, has no food in right now because we um were too stupid to farm more food and then you have like plenty of space to put your food in i needed to make the roof one step higher than i would have loved to but otherwise you get the um, smoke issues and you I get hit by the smoke and hurt actually and yeah this is i think this is one of the nicest spot in this entire map let me just take a seat here um so you can sit here and you have the wonderful view to the sea um and it looks pretty cool when there's a storm and it's foggy in the background it looks almost like this is like a huge sea you're looking at and that looks just very nice and you can also just zoom out and then this looks like uh, from the outside actually this is uh, kind of a neat view over here um, so yeah this is the overhanging section hello excuse me oh there, there you go um, overhanging section over here and then you can go out to the actual harbor have a look at it and go to the left hand side which then is where we have the shipyards there are some material wagons over here um, still not completely done uh, but yeah so this is the one building over here we will still get some storage space up in this region we can put some chests down and get some wood and so on for the ships to make ships and stuff like that as it is meant to be and this is an addition i just made shortly um for the long ship because that is where we made the advancement oops that we can finally uh, get the long ship in uh, like the biggest one uh, so far in the game and I needed to have like a bit of a, a longer shipyard for it so this is like um, for the medium ship and that's for the big one you can put it right in here and then you have like a nice station to keep it in so this is how it looks right now there are still a bit of adjustments I need to do but this is something I will do in the future and I'm not going to bother you with this anymore next time around will be again as I said the next episode of a speed build will be the fishing ponds um, which I guess is a good idea to do. And then, uh, yeah, we are, we are talking again in the next one. I really hope you enjoyed today's speed build and you get the hang of it slowly and we get into the groove of Valheim. There will be surely more to come. Let me just go out to this point, by the way. Um, so we can also get a bit more creative now as I got the hang of it um, I think it's about time but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching as always I would appreciate if you guys are not subscribed yet and you like the content please consider subscribing that would mean a lot to me and also stay safe everyone in these weird times we get through that together uh, now I hope you enjoyed the content I wish you the best of day possible and I talk to you in the next one goodbye